Hey guys, it's Erica. I'm just here to share with you just a small haul from some random places and a couple of cards and then not a craft room tour but just a little sneak peek. Um, I'll explain at the end of the video. Um, so I'm going to do my little haul first because I use some of the stuff that I purchased in my haul um, in one of my cards. So I went to the Dollar Tree last week on Thursday because I had I was looking for some storage bin storage bins, um, and I'll I'll tell you why later. But I just um, picked up just a couple of crafty um, items. I got some glue sticks, hot glue sticks. You can't beat it for a dollar. So I got those. And then I also found these little bags. They're tote bags. They're six by six tote bags. And there comes three to a pack. So three for a dollar. So I thought they were cute. I got them in the hot pink color. And then also in yellow. They had like mostly like the primary colors. Like they had red and blue and green, yellow, purple, and pink. But I just got these. So these are really cute. I'm going to alter them. Um, that's another reason why I wanted to get this video done because I wanted to alter these today. So I got these. Um, then I went to Target to go buy um, some like toiletry stuff. And I picked up a couple of crafty things there. Um, I got these um, sticko um, stickers. They're like, they're kind of thick. They're like the epoxy stickers. Um, but they're cute. They're the metallic glittery pumpkins. So I thought they were cute. And they were only 58 cents. So they weren't the normal like 99 cents. So I thought they were cute. So I got those. And then these Dear Lizzie um, let alphabet stickers were on clearance for $1.18. So it's got the letters and the numbers. And I like this color. So I got that. Not a bad deal. And then I also got these, um, oh, what are they called? I guess they're journal journaling cards. They're by the, who makes these? We are memory keepers. So I got this one. Uh, it doesn't have a specific name, like line or whatever, but it's these and they're cute. So these have, you know, really cute colors. So I got this one. So this is cute. And then I also got this one that's in black and white. And um, oh, I thought they were pretty cute, like journaling spots. You can probably cut them up. So I got these. So that's what I got from Target and from Dollar Tree. And then I went to Michael's because I had got an email uh, saying like, happy birthday, here's a coupon for your birthday coming up since my birthday is in exactly one month. Just so you guys know, it's October 9th, just saying. Um, and so it was like a 20 percent off coupon so I was like oh great you know I can use it so I wanted to get some different colored distress inks and they were on sale for 40 percent off and then I was like oh cool I'll get another 20 percent on top of that so I picked up a, a bunch of things and then I went to the register and yeah the coupon is for 20 percent off your regular purchase like regular price purchase so I didn't even get the additional 20 percent off because everything I got was on sale not a big deal um, so I got the Distress Ink in the Mowed Lawn color. And of course, it's not going to focus. Why doesn't my camera ever focus? Hang on, let me see if I can. There we go. Mowed Lawn. And then I got the Spiced Marmalade as well. So I really didn't have like a green, green color so I was pretty excited and then this is like a real orangey color so good for the fall 
And then all of the $2 bin stuff was like 70% uh, off, I think, or 80% off. But everything was ringing up 80 cents. So I got some metal embellishments. I never picked these up before. So I got these. Really cute. And then I also got two crowns. And I thought these would be really cute for um, like mini albums and stuff. And then I also got these paper bags because, um, you know, for 80 cents, you can't beat it for 24 bags. So I got uh, these three different designs, which I have all of them already. So I may, you know, send some with a rack or something, you know, just send, a, send them out to some people that may not have them. So that's all the stuff that I picked up this week while I was out. Well, not this week, but last week. Not too much. Um, so here's the two different cards that I made. If you guys uh, follow me on Instagram, you've already seen them. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I urge you to do so. I post like a bunch of stuff on there. So if you guys want to uh, keep in touch with me, that would be a good way to do that. But here's my first card, and I used this. I don't know if you can tell. It's like a wood grain textured cardstock that I got in one of my Simon Says Stamp kits. Can you tell? There, you can kind of tell. So, I just did some water coloring. I stamped. Uh, this is from a recollection stamp set. Oh, let me see if I can grab it. This one right here, it's called Flowers for You. So, here's the stamps that I used. That stamp and that one right there. So, these two. So, I just watercolored using um, my Distress inks which I really love and then I use some put some vellum over it and I use this was a studio G uh, dollar 50 stamp which is this one right here so I just um, embossed sunshine and happiness in the Sun and what I did I actually stapled the vellum to the uh, strip of cards uh, you know the strip right here I tied the ribbon around and tied it in a knot and then I did some pink cardstock behind that. So, not so fall, pretty like summery, but I don't care. I like it. So, with the other half of the wood grain cardstock, I also made this card. And this is from a stamp set. Let me get it real quick. Here it is. It's called the Clip board bracket by Stampendous and I used that stamp right there so that's what it looks like um, so it, it was actually a uh, on the back you see they did one on the back kind of like an example so I kind of copied that and again I used my distress inks to watercolor it and I kind of wanted to make it look like a ombre ish so you know I started with the yellow and then I mixed the yellow and the pink and then with the orange to the light blue and then green and then I I use the same green for here and here but for this one I just um, spritz the distress ink with more water to make it lighter so it kind of faded out I think it looked really good and then this is a lawn fawn um, sentiment I think it's a uh, called everything happy everything um, right here this stamp set so I just put happy everything and the little dots right there and there and then here I kind of behind the butterfly I had smudged um, the district the ink so I was like whatever we can cover that and I put I just punched out a butterfly in pink and then blue and just layered it not a huge deal so these are my two cards that I made. I think they came out really cute. I'm really happy with them. So, um, what I wanted to show you guys. So, on Thursday, my friend Mario came over and helped me put up some new shelves in my craft uh, corner. Because it's not even like a craft room. It's actually my guest bedroom. And I have like a corner. Um, I took a picture on Instagram and posted it. But um, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. And I have really been going through my stuff and de-stashing to my friend Cheryl. Um, but I'm not ready to do like a in-depth kind of tour.
tour so to speak I may do one if you guys want just let me know but I just wanted to show you how cute it turned out with my shelving and stuff and it's just perfect for me so I'm just gonna um, carry the camera so sorry about the shakiness but here is my craft corner it's so cute see there's my desk which is just an old computer desk look there's Marceline she always hangs out underneath my desk um, and like up there at the top I just have some projects that I've made projects that people have given me like right there here I'll get closer I have these containers have like my stick pin beads and stuff then I have bags and stuff you know for when I send out racks here I have tags this whole containers with tags um, this container is just with envelopes and cards and then these are tags that Melody made me this, Tina and B made me these tags. Here in this corner I have my, um, you know, like sprays and mists. Here I have my distress inks and inks that I use all the time. Um, my stamp press and then my, my clear blocks are in here too, see. Then I have clear stamps, like small sets, big sets of clear stamps, wood block stamps, and then this is all of my other inks that I have, like different colored inks and inks that I don't use all the time. I have embossing powders there, tag that I made. I believe, oh, I don't remember. Cindy made this for me? Yeah. Cindy for kiddos made me this. Card Nicole sent me my cuddle bug, some embossing folders, plates, and this one that Melody sent me. Um, Nicole made that for me. My Martha Stewart punch. I have buttons, metal stuff, wood veneers, wood veneers, more buttons. So everything is all organized and my desk is organized. There's a little picture frame I altered. All my washi tapes. All my washi tapes that I don't have room for. So I need to build another one of these things. Um, my corner punch that I use all the time. This heart punch that I use all the time. And then here I have all my card stock. Um, Nicole made that for me. Here's my card book that I have. This card I have to send to my friend. This card I have to send out. And then my baby wipes. And then there's my Martha Stewart scoreboard, and under here I have all my tools, like my hot glue gun, ATG gun, heat gun, heat tool, my circle cutter thing, my paper trimmer, and my stamping foam thing. So that is just like my short, sweet, condensed version of stuff. And then, whoops. And then here I have like my paper, my ribbon, my laces over there. And then these two things have embellishments and stuff. So that's what I have. Um, I'll be back maybe later on tonight or maybe tomorrow to share some stuff that I'm working on. I want to alter some of these little bags and stuff. So anyway, um, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.